So here we have a question where we have two different bases and we also have the exponents that both have the variable in them rather than just in one of the exponents. But we can use the same process we've done so far. 9 times a whole number does not give me 27. So I have to go back further than that and find a common base. And the common base is base 3. And so 9 can be written as 3 squared. So we have 3 squared to the power of 2x. And 27 can be written as 3 cubed. So 3 cubed to the power of x plus 5. And so what we can do, again, is use the power rule of exponents. And that gives me 3 to the power of 4x is equal to 3 to the power of 3x plus 15. And so now what I can see is because they have the same base, the exponents are going to be equal. So that means that 4x is equal to 3x plus 15. And so now I can subtract 3x from both sides. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do the other. That gets me x on the left side. And then I'm just left with 15 on the right side. And that is my final answer. X is equal to 15. If you wanted to check that, we could do that by simply subbing it into the left side. 9 to the power of 2 times 15. That's a really big number. But we could check that by doing that. We just type in 9 to the power of 30 into our calculator. And then we could take that one step further, actually. Rather than type in our calculator, we could actually write this as 3 squared to the power of 30. Well, that would be... 3 to the power of 60. So let's see if we get 3 to the power of 60 on the other side with our check. So the right side, we're going to get 27 to the power of 15 plus 5. So 27 to the power of 20. And so if we have 27 to the power of 20, that can be written as 3 cubed to the power of 20. And we get 3 with the power rule again to the power of 60. And we can say that, therefore, the left side is equal to the right side. We have confirmed that's the correct answer. And we didn't even have to use a calculator once. This is the power of bringing everything down to a common base and doing it just like this question was on this math challenge problem. If this was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you want to see more about exponential functions, you can check out the video that's showing on your screen now. Thanks so much for watching.